Hi, this is Raijam Sheth. My first humble request to all of you people who are watching my channel is to subscribe my channel so it make me motivated and I work more hard to for uh, to make more videos and it give me more confidence. So let's start with uh, uh, lecture 8 module 1 book 1 chapter 3 supply chain management strategy before we start this chapter i want to discuss a concept that will help you to understand the rest of the chapter very easily so that's there's a concept called like bull whip effect small demand and uncertainty becomes more and more distorted let's go for an example of a retailer a retailer named ABC may be situated in some location due to uh, unknown reasons. There may be a sale of 1000 diapers instead of 500 diapers. That is normally the cost of the retailer that he was going to sell 500 diapers a day. So maybe due to the location change of the parents or maybe due to any uncertain reasons, unknown reasons, they may be, that is not genuine actually again think that is not genuine maybe there may be in there may be a sale of like 1000 diapers instead of 500 diapers and you know this retailer gives an order to the distributor as a safety stock like he has a safety stock of 500 diapers so you can order 1500 diapers to the distributor and distributor you now again think there may be demand in the market so he gonna give an order of like 2000 diapers to the factory and the factory again give like the the which it has to make the diapers of uh, like 2500 it estimates based on the retailer demand maybe he thinks he needs more uh, uh, diapers to produce so he gave orders of like 2500 diaper components to its suppliers so this small uh, demand uncertainty became more and more distorted and this can be a very bad uh, thing for this whole supply chain they be a lot of wasted in it and they can be losses in it so this concept is important to understand and again i request you to subscribe my channel if you like it so i'm gonna go for the rest of the chapter again thank you very much